Hi, I'm Stephen Moon, founder of HAI. We're building enterprise AI agents that operate entirely within existing security boundaries. Today, I want to share a different perspective on enterprise AI deployment, one that leverages decades of enterprise infrastructure instead of building parallel systems. For those of us building AI agents and solutions, the challenge isn't just about powerful models or clever prompts. It's about deploying these digital workers in a way that respects enterprise security and compliance and workflows that organizations have spent years perfecting. As AI engineers, we're at a unique moment in computing history. For the first time, we can build software applications that understand us directly and are able to use the same interface as people do. LLMs represent a new computing paradigm, one where AI agents can reason about requests, understand context, and interact naturally through existing channels. Yet, as we race to deploy AI agents and enterprises, we're falling back into old patterns. Every new AI agent becomes another external system, another portal, another set of credentials, another security review. Instead of embracing this new paradigm where agents can use the same interfaces as humans and understand us directly, we're building more barriers between users and, and the new capabilities that we're able to provide them. In a recent interview, Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, made a striking observation about the future of business software. He basically said, SaaS is dead. He's describing a fundamental shift, the death of traditional SaaS interfaces, as AI agents become the primary way we interact with business systems. Yet here we are, building new AI portals and dashboards, recreating the very pattern that's becoming obsolete. Enterprise AI agents should work like any other employee, following security policies, using approved systems, staying within data boundaries, accessing only what's needed, and being monitored and audited just like human employees. The good news, enterprises already have everything needed. Secure compute environments, identity management, data governance, compliance frameworks, and audit capabilities. These systems have been refined and hardened over decades, and, they, and most companies, most enterprises, have their own private cloud where we can execute AI agents within their security boundary. Modern AI infrastructure lets us run agents in private clouds, keep data within tenants, use existing security controls, leverage current workflows, and maintain complete oversight. The technology exists today to deploy AI with the same privacy controls we apply to human employees. Every time we reflexively create a new interface for AI agents, we're potentially solving yesterday's problem. We're building translation layers between humans and machines at exactly the moment when machines can finally understand us directly. Before we redesign another portal or a dashboard, we should ask, could this capability be delivered through systems our, all, our users already know and trust? As AI engineers, we often overlook the power of existing enterprise infrastructure that's right in front of us. At HAI, when we look at Microsoft 365 and Azure, we're not just seeing email and cloud services. We're looking at battle-tested platforms that enterprises have spent years integrating into their security and compliance frameworks. By building on these platforms, we inherit all that trust and infrastructure into our AI agents. What makes this approach particularly powerful for IT departments is how AI agents can be provisioned exactly like human employees. At CES, Jensen Wong captured this transformation perfectly when he said, in a lot of ways, the IT department of every company is going to be the HR department of AI agents in the future. He's right. This is exactly how it should work. Let's think about it. IT teams can create agent accounts using their existing Active Directory tools, apply standard security policies, set permissions through familiar interfaces, and use their existing audit and monitoring tools. There's no new system to learn, no special handling required. It's just another employee to manage through tools they've used for years. IT becomes the HR department for your AI workforce, managing onboarding, access, permissions, and monitoring through familiar systems. But here's where it gets really interesting for us as engineers. Email opens up a powerful pattern for agent-to-agent -agent communications. Just as humans use email to collaborate and share information, our AI agents can email each other to share data and coordinate work. Every interaction is fully logged and auditable. Permissions are enforced automatically through existing systems. 
data flows are transparent and controllable. This creates a framework for building observable, controllable AI systems at enterprise scale. While we chose Microsoft's ecosystem at HAI, these same patterns work with Google Workspace or other enterprise platforms. The key insight for us as AI engineers is that we can leverage existing enterprise infrastructure rather than building parallel systems. These platforms give us built-in identity management, established security controls, proven compliance frameworks, and enterprise-grade APIs. This means we can focus our energy on building new capabilities, solving new problems, instead of reinventing infrastructure that already works. The future of enterprise AI isn't about building new interfaces for agents. It's about enhancing the systems we've spent decades perfecting. At HAI, we chose email because it's universal and trusted. But that's just one example of how we can rethink AI agent integration. Every enterprise has existing systems that have been hardened, secured, and refined over years of real-world use. Think about your document management systems, your internal messaging platforms, your workflow tools. Now that we can write software agents that directly understand human intent, each of these systems becomes a potential gateway for AI capabilities. This represents a fundamental shift in how we approach enterprise AI adoption and application development generally. Instead of asking what new tools do we need to build, we should be asking which of our existing systems can we enhance with AI agents? The most powerful solution might not be a new interface or a new system at all. It might just be the quiet intelligence we add to the tools our customers already trust and use every day. The era of mandatory translation layers between humans and machines is ending. The era of direct understanding and seamless AI collaboration has begun. Thank you very much for, for listening. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.